what's up guys i'm luke and you are watching the creative way so today we're going to be showcasing another plugin this one is called super auth it is the best auth plugin out there it protects against vpn and hackers so you can see their real ip in the console and it is by far the best authenticator for all servers and it's super cheap so you guys can buy it for yourself using the links down in the description box below. Um, but before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to subscribe and leave a like. Um, almost 100% of the viewers, of my viewers, um, are not subscribed, so if you could please hit that subscribe button, it would really mean a lot to me. We're so close to 100 subscribers, I know we can do it. So thank you guys so much, and please enjoy the video. All right, so when we log in, I have already registered myself, but usually, you would have to register yourself on the server and choose password and everything like that. So if we type the main command, soth, just like that, and we'll do change the password here, and we'll make it test one, two, three, four, just like that. And now our password is test one, two, three, four. Um, and that is... It, you cannot take any moderation actions in game without doing the simple command of soth set admin lwp awesome just like that and now we are an administrator um, of the of the super auth so if we do the same command soth again now it pulls up a different gui we can close it we can manage the users and we can use the settings so general settings here we can um, do translation down letter. We don't really need to mess with that. And we can change the prefix if we want to, but I'm gonna keep it the same as it comes. Um, languages, we can change the language, Spanish, English, French, Russian. And we can also manage our users here. We can manage LWP Awesome like this, and we can switch his, it for it, or um, we can search for someone. We can do We'll just search LWP, and LWP comes up just like that. And that is pretty much all you can do in-game. It's a mostly config-based plugin. So let's go on over to the config, and we will get this sorted out right after a short message from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Sangata. Sangata is the one-stop shop intended to make finding the ideal plugins for your Minecraft server simply. They uphold reasonable and just business practices by acknowledging client and creator feedback and are continually improving their platform. Make sure you guys check them out with the links below to find unique plugins for your Minecraft server. Okay, so as you can see, I'm using Solnode servers here. They are the best servers I have ever used. They have a completely custom theme and great support and everything. I will leave my affiliate link down in the description box below. If you guys could please go ahead and um, if you want to buy a server, I get 15% of whatever you guys buy. And that would really mean a lot to me. So um, if you could do that, that'd be great. So... Um, Let's go into our settings.yml, and as you can see here, you need my SQL to run this plugin um, properly. We have a database set up with Solnode right here, and I have entered all the information here. It all needs to be correct for this to work. Um, so we'll go into the auth action and auth settings.yml. Those are the main two configs for the plugin. So right here, messaging, it'll say, great, now you can play, which we want. Uh, the command is kit newbie right now, but we'll change that to kit tools. The console, it will log you in the console. We want that as well. Teleport, we don't have anywhere for it to teleport to right now, so we'll make that false. And this is not a Bungie server. You can set it up on a Bungie server, or it will send you to the lobby server once you're done registering. Um, wait and last location, you don't need to worry about because that is basically um, just part of the plugin, and it's really good if you keep those on true. Um, so if we'll go back and go into auth settings, this is basically the main config.yml. My favorite auth type is the GUI, and if you want to disable it, um, you can disable it, but the, uh, I don't know why you would want to, 
the different auth types are dialogue and GUI. And so if you do dialogue, you'll have to type in the chat your password. But if you do a GUI, you'll have to do a pin, which is my favorite. Um, so right now the password min and max is 8 and 12. I want to make that 24 just so we give it a bit more room. These commands you can actually change, which is super cool if you want to. But we're not going to mess with that. The CAPTCHA is enabled, and I enable the VPN blocker as well. So the messages here say, hello, please register yourself. Hello again, please authenticate yourself. And then, great, now you can play. And I changed the kit from newbie to tools because I'm using essentials and kit tools is basically the basic kit. And here we can see the titles. It says logged in, and I changed the register one to successfully registered. Now the subtitles will say, now you can play, and thank you for choosing us right here, which is great. So the title time is basically um, how long these titles last for. 10, 20, 10, these are seconds, and 10, 20, 10. You can just leave that as it, it is, um, unless you really want to mess with it. Sessions are a great feature here. If you enable them, then basically, if I am on the server for five minutes, I will have to, if I'm off the server for five minutes, I'll have to re-log in the next time I join. And premium auto login is basically, if they're a premium member, they'll automatically log in. So you can enable that if you would like to. Um, so let's save all the changes we've made. And that is pretty much it. So we'll go back to the console here. So I forgot, if you um, need help, there are tons and tons of different things on their wiki and their website. I will leave all of this down in the, um, I'll leave all this down in the description box below and you guys can check out their website. It's great. Um, so basically here we have, we can reload the server or the plugin just by doing soft reload in the console here. So if we go and we do soft reload and we have we have sent the reload request just like that and it will reload the plugin for us and as you can see we have re-registered and we got our kit tools which is great so um, as soon as the plugin reloads here then we should be able to see the auth command will start working. It says we are already identified, which is great because um, I'm going to just completely log out. Um, we'll go the soft command and we'll, we will disable us as a member. So if we refresh, you can see I'm no longer a member. So if I disconnect and rejoin, it will make me register again. Um, you can see it will say to authenticate yourself, we did the DUI which is a great one. And we'll just do one, two, three, four as our pin and click save just like that. Choose 55 as the captcha. We'll choose 55 and we are logged in again. And there's our successfully registered message right there. And it says, great, now you can play. Um, so if we do slash off, it says we're already identified, which is great. Um, so we have actually two sets of tools here we don't need that. Um, so that is basically it for the super auth plugin as it goes. Let's go through the command list one more time on their wiki, make sure I didn't miss anything here. Um, so we can set ourselves as the add-in again because we, we, uh, we did not, uh, we kicked ourselves out. So now we are an admin and we can do all the admin things again. And we can um, force we can force login. We're not going to touch that. We're going to we can unregister someone. We can register someone. We can get info about the server. So works. So if we do soft info, and then it says. We have the version, the server version, we have paper, 1.16.5, Linux, RAM, players one, is Bungie, is false, and the TPS, just like that. 
and it tests the MySQL as well, which is great. Um, you can update the username to update to a new IP if a person changes computer or something like that. And we can go soth update user LWP awesome and then premium to set ourselves to premium through the console. Oops. Uh, premium true. Okay. Just like that. And now we have set our account to a premium account. And we can migrate to SQL Lite, but we're not going to do that right now. And the in-game is only Soth, and then as well as the auth command. Um, and the register command is only when the um, when the auth method is commands instead of the dialog or the GUI. And the login is basically just um, when all else fails, do slash login. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to join their Discord, and you can download this plugin on the Sangata Marketplace for just $5. It's super cheap. Um, and I will leave the links to the Discord and the website um, as well as the wiki down in the description box below. They have such great support team, and I love the owner of plugin. He is super great. So um, that's it for this plugin. I have one or two exciting announcements. And one more thing about Solnode servers. They are super great. You guys should definitely go check them out. Um, Soul Striker, he is a great person. He does Minecraft plugin tutorials just like me, and he has been kind enough to let me use an affiliate link with his servers to help me make money and to help him make money, which um, is a win-win for both of us. And I will leave my affiliate link for Solnode down in the description box. Today. It is one of the best um, hosts I've ever used. So please go check out SuperAuth and Solnode and Sangata down in the description box below. And that's it. Um, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!